Hey, what's up guys? My name is Dave Cad, and today it's time for another Finnish favorite. Another month has flown by in the summer and it's just, it's, it's going too fast. Now there wasn't a Finnish favorites video last month because basically I was just really busy with the wedding stuff and I, I didn't like try anything new. It was a bit of a boring month in terms of that kind of stuff. But this month we are back and I've got some good ones this month. But actually before I start, I have to apologize for the echo in this. We've just moved in this weekend and uh, yeah, there's not a lot of furniture to kind of absorb the sound. I'm doing what I can though. I've got like a curtain here, although it's not really doing much and like an air mattress there just to see, I don't know. Yeah, it's not doing much. But I'm doing what I can, okay? So to start off this month, I, I kind of have to eat my words because my first favorite this month is the Moomin drink. Moomi Limsa. Funny story, maybe last summer I did a video where I was trying a bunch of different Finnish sodas and I tried the Moomin drink and, and I didn't enjoy it so much. And looking back, I don't know why. Honestly, I have no idea why. Now even just the smell is just divine. I think what it was, was that I was expecting a strawberry flavor when this is actually a wild strawberry flavor. And this summer I've actually picked a few wild strawberries just to kind of feel the taste. And then I tasted this and it's, it's really similar. But we've been doing several kind of long car rides this summer back and forth from the summer house back to Helsinki, etc. And I decided that I was gonna get a drink for the road and I saw this. And then I remembered all of your comments on that video when I said that I didn't really care for this. People saying that it's not strawberry flavor, it's wild strawberry flavor, and that, you know, I should give it another try. So I got it on a couple of these trips, and now I'm, sad to say, I'm a little hooked on it. So the first Finnish favorite is the Moomin drink and a slice of humble pie. <laughs> All right, moving on. Now this is something that I never thought would be in a Finnish favorites. If you had asked me like two years ago, will you ever have this type of candy on a favorites video? I would have slapped you in the face probably and just said, shut up, just shut up. But Super Salmiakki Hockey Pulveri. Now I do have a little bit of a confession to make because this is actually made in Sweden. But I think they've actually, <laughs> I didn't even notice this until now, but the guy on the, on the picture is actually wearing the, the Finnish colors. So although it's made in Sweden, they obviously know that Finland is la the land of the Salmiakki. Or do they have hockey pulver in Sweden and then they have the Sweden colors? I don't know. If you know, let me know. Now, I'd like to do like a, a live taste test on this video of this, but uh, I kind of, I kind of finished it. But basically, all it is is salmiaki sugar, I guess, salmiaki flavoring and sugar in a pot, filled up to here, and then you just kind of take a pinch, put it in your mouth, or if you're like me and Cat, you just kind of, <laughs> ooh, had a little leftovers in the corners there. Man, I'm disgusting. And actually, I went to try and get another one of these in the local K market here, and I couldn't find it. So maybe it's a little harder to find uh, than I first thought. But if you like salmiaki and you haven't tried this, definitely give it a go. If you can make this last more than like 10 minutes, <laughs> bravo. Because although it's small, the salmiaki, it kind of packs a punch. So you probably shouldn't eat it all at once, but it's hard. Okay, next up, let's move on to the tech segment of this Finnish favorites. Now, once again, this isn't actually Finnish made, but it does teach Finnish. And as you guys know, I am trying to learn myself some Finnish since we've moved here to Finland. So I've been keeping an eye out for the best apps in order to learn Finnish. And I think I've come across a really, really good one. And that is something called Mondly. Now Mondly is uh, a language app which has a bunch of different languages as in Finnish is obviously one of them. But what I like about Mondly is that it is, it's so similar to Duolingo, which I learned a lot of my Swedish with. And I just think the, the Duolingo system is so good. It's basically just like a game type app. So, so you, you go through, 
Da. Ow. Ba. That's help. But I thought that was apua, so I guess there's a difference. So yeah, you can you then associate the picture with the word, and then you can carry on. Voitko auttaa minua? Voitko auttaa minua? You're bad, Dave. You get the point. It's a lot of repetition, a lot of pictures, and a lot of that kind of stuff. So that works really well for me with learning languages, and it's pretty it's pretty good I have to say the app works well it doesn't crash at least from what I've found and you get star ratings I mean anything to make you feel good when you're learning a language always helps now I think you get like a free trial when you first sign up to monthly but there is a monthly fee if you want to carry on past that for one month it's 9.99 for 12 months it's four euros a month which is 47.99. But definitely check it out if you're wanting to learn a language that isn't on Duolingo because in my opinion Duolingo is the best, but for some reason they just they don't want to put a Finnish language course on Duolingo. Very frustrating. Excuse me one second. Ah, moving on. And the next thing is actually something that you have been looking at for this entire video so far. It's the, it's the TV. Now I know you're thinking, Dave, most TVs are made in like China or some, somewhere like that and then shipped. And I think actually you would be right. But the TV behind me is actually a brand called Procaster, which is Vertical Kalpa's own kind of brand for their electronics. I'm sure you could get this TV in other countries with different brands on it, but in Finland, you get this one. Now I have to say, I was a little bit unsure about getting this because for the 55 inch version of this TV, it cost me 399 euros and 90 cents or something like that. 55 inch 4K smart TV. I thought that's too good to be true. 399, that's a great price. But we've been using it for the past like three or four days. And honestly, for that price, you can't go wrong with this TV. I am so happy with it. But before I actually pulled the trigger and bought this TV, I did ask on my Instagram if anyone has this TV or has had it like a Procaster before and like, is it okay? Is it like really cheap and nasty? And I got a lot of messages from a lot of different people with a lot of different experiences with these Procaster TVs. Some people messaged saying it was great, you know, as long as you don't go in thinking that you're gonna have the deepest blacks or the whitest whites or the best like, viewing angles or whatever as long as you don't go in thinking that you're getting a 2000 euro tv for 399 euros then you're doing good and then some people message me saying just don't bother it's a waste of money so it depends on what type of person you are if you're like really picky about your tvs and like the image quality and stuff yeah, don't buy this. But if you just want like a TV that's kind of big, decent picture, and I don't know about you guys, but I think, you know, it looks it looks pretty. So if you're that kind of person, I can definitely recommend this Procaster TV for like 400 euros. In my opinion, you can't go wrong. And if you don't accept the TV as like a Finnish favorite, then I'm just gonna go with Vertical Kalpa. It's so good. I bought the TV and my new drone from there and Man, walking around the Vertical Kalpa here in Helsinki is just like, it's like, I want that. I need that coffee maker. Nice guitar. Ooh, cameras. Ooh, drones. It's so hard to walk in there and walk out without spending all your money. Man, I love that place. Now, moving on to my last favorite item for this month. And this is another thing that I put out on my Instagram stories, which got a lot of different reactions, but these, are my favorite makara. So these are the Wilhelm Justo, so the cheese makara. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, I am actually gonna be working with Atria soon, but that collaboration actually has nothing to do with this. I haven't been paid to say anything about these makara. I just genuinely love these makara. And you may have noticed that I have, I've said makara and not sausage, because, because to me, this isn't sausage. This is makara. There's, there's a difference. <laughs> because in the UK and what I've grown up knowing a sausage to look and taste like, this isn't sausage. Makara has such a distinct texture and flavor and, you know, diff different to what I would call a sausage. So, makara. The cheese flavor makara is just 
Oh, so good. Because up until like last week when I tried these, I basically only just had the the standard flavor one. And I don't really know what I was expecting when I was trying this for the first time. But I guess I just thought I love the regular makara, so chuck some cheese in there and what could go wrong? And the answer is nothing. It's amazing. I had people suggesting different ones for me to try and people agreeing, saying yes, they're the best. So I thought, and you guys have to tell me what you think of this idea, but I thought I would do a makara taste test. I'll get a bunch of different ones and see which is truly my favorite. If you think that would be a fun video, let me know in the comments below. And since I love the drink so much, I should really watch an episode of The Moomins. Can you believe I've never watched The Moomins before? But anyway guys, that is about it for my Finnish favourites for this month. If you've come across anything in the past month which you think I should check out here in Finland, let me know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, do me a favour and just hit that like button for me. And if you've enjoyed this video and you're new here, why not hit that subscribe button? I make one of these videos every single month, apart from last month. <laughs> Plus all kinds of other videos which you might enjoy as well, so yeah. Consider subscribing, that would be cool. But with all that said, I'm gonna now open the door so I can finally stop sweating for five minutes of this day. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.